Hi, my name is Susan Sadow, and I'm a partner in the law firm of Sadow & Freud in Atlanta, Georgia. Our firm specializes in representing people throughout the state who have been seriously injured on the job. A hot topic that I'm often asked about is how to properly prepare for a deposition. How you do on your deposition can be critical to the outcome of your case. The first and most important thing I'd have to tell anyone is never go into a deposition without being properly prepared by your attorney. I always bring my clients in for a good hour to discuss with them what they need to know before they give their deposition testimony. A deposition is a situation where you're going to sit in a conference room with your attorney and the opposing counsel who represents the employer and the insurer. There will also be a court reporter there who will take down everyone's testimony and the testimony will later be transcribed into a booklet form. The attorney for the employer insurer is taking your deposition for several reasons. One, they want to assess your credibility and see what kind of witness you would make in court. Two, they want to commit you to a story. What you say to deposition has to be the same thing you'd say a week from now, a month from now, or a year from now. If your testimony in court is inconsistent with your deposition testimony, it affects your credibility and how the judge views you and your case. For example, if this were an automobile accident case and you were asked at a deposition how fast you were going and you said 25 miles an hour and the other driver was driving 35 miles an hour, you don't want to go to court and say you were driving 10 miles an hour and the other driver was driving 50 miles an hour. If you do so, the opposing attorney will bring out a copy of the deposition transcript and show you where your testimony was completely different on the day that you were deposed and gave testimony under oath. What will you be asked at a deposition? You'll be asked many questions, starting with background questions. Where you live, your marital status, who lives in your home with you, where you went to school, uh, how far you went in school, every job you've had for the last 15 or 20 years, and any kind of on-the-job training that you've experienced. You will be asked if you have any psychiatric or psychological treatment history. You'll be asked if you use drugs or alcohol. You'll be asked if you've ever been involved in an automobile accident or slip and fall. And you'll also be asked about prior workers' compensation claims. It's so important to be truthful and honest with your answers. The shorter your answers are, the better. If the defense attorney needs additional information, he or she can ask uh, additional questions to get that information from you. You are not there to spoon feed the defense counsel. You're not there to argue with the opposing attorney. You want to have a calm, cool, and collected demeanor. You want to be likable. And you also don't want to let your guard down. The defense attorney is not your fr friend. They're probing to get as much information as possible. Keep your answers short and to the point. That is essential. Don't volunteer unnecessary information. Clearly, the deposition is going to ask you about the, the details of your accident on the job, who witnessed it, who you gave notice to, and you, you will be asked by defense counsel about all of your medical treatment since the accident, how you're currently feeling, and what body parts are affected. You'll also be asked about prior medical conditions and treatment. Finally, you'll be asked about hobbies and things you like to do in your spare time. The essential thing about a deposition is when you prepare with your attorney beforehand, you will talk about any areas of concern that your attorney may have, and the attorney will ask you questions, and you can go over your answers with your attorney so that when the, when the defense attorney asks you questions in the deposition, you'll be prepared and know how to respond. You'll be prepared for any problem areas and you'll give a, a much better deposition that way than if you go into a deposition blind and don't know what to expect. The deposition will typically take several hours, and it partially depends upon the severity of your injuries, the nature of your medical treatment, your past medical history, and any prior claims you've had. The primary thing about a deposition is be straightforward and be honest. If you don't understand a question, ask the defense attorney to repeat it or rephrase it. Think before you answer. 
But once again, what you say at the deposition needs to be what you'd say at any future point in time. Everybody is nervous going into a deposition. It's natural. Take a deep breath. Get a good night's sleep before. And you don't want to be under the influence of any medication where you can't think clearly. But if you follow these tips and you spend time with your attorney beforehand, you will do a great job at your deposition and it'll make a big difference in the outcome of your case.